So the second day in Lachen. It is Voodoo Kuti looking outside. There is the view from the window of the hotel. We are ready to go towards. We woke up very early and got ready by 6.30 a.m. No breakfast was provided by the hotel not even the normal tea. We started the journey to Gurudmur at 7 a.m. from Lachan. Stopped at Longshoot Village for breakfast. We had Maggie, omelet and tea. <coughs> On the way towards Guru Dongmar and Kalapatha, we stopped at this small cafe. We had uh, Maggie. The place of this name is Dongchuk. Vita, you see the coat, jacket, it's total pink and beautiful. Chalo, we'll go. This is Chapta Valley, very calm and quiet place at extremely high altitude. Must visit if you are at Lachan. Beautiful scenic view. Unbelievable natural beauty. Stopped at world's highest dosa point, Army personnel serves the hot dosa here with very minimal amount. One interesting fact the road is frozen to ice and the vehicle skids. गाड़ी कैसे स्लीप हुआ और देखो स्लीप होके कैसे एक्सीडेंट हो गया देख रहे हो ठूक गया बिल्कुल काला पाथर इज लोकेटेड फर्दर साउथ ऑफ चापटा इन मगथिंग वैली इज लोकेटेड एट एन एलिवेशन ऑफ 14850 फीट Except for a few Tibetan nomad communities for grazing their yaks, Kalapatar is typically inhospitable. At an elevation of more than 14,000 feet above sea level, the motorable road comes to an end at Kalapatar. Considered to be a no man's land, Kalapatar stays covered with snow throughout the year. It offers quite a tranquil experience and stays less crowded most of the time. This tourist site, made of black mountain rock, is covered entirely with snow and because of its name Kala Patar where Kala means black and Patar means rock. I played with the snow for some times in Kala Patar. My father tried to fly the drone but due to the restrictions from local drivers he had to stop the fly. The landscape here is very resembling with water. So many yaks, also known as the hairy cow, can be found throughout this region of Tibetan Plateau. The first view of the lake felt like witnessing heaven. Situated at an altitude of 17,800 feet, this lake is considered sacred by the Hindus, Buddhists, and Sikhs. The lake is named after Guru Padmasambhava also known as Guru Rinpoche founder of Tibetan Buddhism, who visited here in the 8th century. I felt like I was standing there just to feel God around me. It was such an amazing experience. I am too short of words to describe it. 
Tras ver si pasa. El barón. There was so much cold wind blowing. Instruction was given to us not to stay beyond 5 to 7 minutes here. Due to the oxygen deficiency and because of the wind the temperature dropped to minus 11 degrees and hand can be senseless. Suddenly there was heavy snow falling while returning back to Lachin from Guru Dongro Lake although there was full prediction on the snowfall. You can check the road conditions, it's turned in white and roads are slippery and Vivek uncle had to drive slowly. See? We came by the same road but now it turned into white. Himalayan horses are spotted. We took a tea break at the Rinchuk village. Can't explain in words. It's amazing. I am seeing the snow fall for the fourth time through my eyes in this year 2020. Sikkim got the first snowfall in this season, and we are lucky to see in part of this. You can see the Snow Leprat statue in my background. You may see this during the heavy snowfall here. We returned back to Lachin Hotel around 4 o'clock. We took some rest in the afternoon post lunch. Pimba Sherpa Ji one of the owners of this hotel accompanied us. In the evening he did arrange a campfire and offered us egg roll. Around 7 pm the snowfall started in the Lachin city as well. We enjoyed the dinner with the Desi Murgi curry, locally it is called as Kukra, Bebek uncle arranged this while we were coming to Lachin. <laughs> 